Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute and easy wire-wrapped bottles. So this is actually my third tutorial using these little glass bottles. I did, a few years back, super tiny glass bottles, smaller than these and I used seed beads and I did like a circular netting with the seed beads. Those turned out really cute. And then the second bottle I did, I uh, used a bigger bottle, which is bigger than this one, and I decorated the inside of the bottle and then I beaded the outside and I did like cathedral looking windows so you could see what was on the inside. That one was my absolute favorite. I put so much work and time into that one, and that is one of my favorite projects to date. And um, this time, I decided to do something different. Instead of using seed beads, I wanted to do wire and see what I could come up with. And I'm really happy with how they've turned out. So this one here, I have to do the necklace for. I haven't finished this one yet. And I decided to leave all of the labels, by the way, on these bottles. I am using the semi-precious stones glass bottles from BB Craft and I am doing five of them and um, they're all marked with what's inside and I decided to leave the labels on because if I do give this to somebody I want them to know what's inside it's not just a bottle of rocks there's actually gemstones on it so I decided to leave the label on and the label is paper so I am thinking that I might get some clear packing tape and cover this over so that it's waterproof if it ever got wet to protect the label from coming off and some of the labels were crooked but I was able to peel them off and restick them to straighten them out so if you have that problem you can do the same thing so I am doing five different colors of wire on my bottles I'm doing five bottles this one here is copper and this is the moonstone in here and I just did some glass lamp work beads I went through all of my lamp work beads and I found a bunch of these four millimeter lamp work beads and they were just perfect for this because of their whole size they fit perfectly on the wire and I didn't have any moonstone gemstone beads to use for this so I have to finish the necklace on that one this one here I am using the lapis and I also did lamp work beads here now this says lapis but I'm actually thinking that it is um, soda light because there's so much white in it but that's fine that doesn't bother me just thought I would point that out though and the necklace for this one, I am using leather. I did my wire wrapped cord ends there and I have no clasp. It's just a long necklace and because it's so long you really don't need a clasp. I feel that it's a waste, waste of a clasp. I can use that on another project that really needs a clasp. So these necklaces, because the bottle is large, these are great for long necklaces. I am having all of them below the bust line and they looked awesome on. So this one here, the wire by the way, is the gunmetal wire. I got this from BB Craft. It's this one here, the gunmetal right there, but it actually looks more black than uh, gunmetal. And this one here is gold, and this one is my absolute favorite. I did the amethyst gemstones. I also did lamp work beads again. And this one, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I have a bunch of this ball chain, and the lengths that I have are these 9-inch uh, lengths. So they're like bracelet sizes, right? But I wanted to use this chain in a necklace. So what I did is I connected four of them together, okay? And then I'm like, well, how am I going to uh, connect this to my bottle? So I was thinking about doing a wire wrap around the ball chain. I'm like, well, maybe I could do use this, the closure, because I have so many of these ball chains. So what I did is I used a round nose plier, and I opened up the end here, so you can see that the hole is larger than it normally is. So I opened it up, and then I flattened it out. So it had these like little wings. And then I took my hole punch and I punched a hole on each side and then I just put a jump ring through it and I used it to connect onto my bottle and it just turned out so cool. I'm really liking this. I think that this bottle here is my favorite. It's just so cute. And the last one I did the rose quartz and I used a curb chain for this one. And I actually did pearls, glass pearls. Pearls are perfect for this because they have lar large holes. You can easily put them onto the chain. 
and this one is in silver. Here is the list of materials you will need to make a wire wrapped bottle. You will need little glass bottles and I am using the glass bottles from BB Craft. There's nine here in a pack and they come with gemstone and I was asked in a previous video, I think when I did my haul, if these had holes in them and they do not have holes drilled in them. They are just gemstone chips undrilled. So I will leave a link for the bottles down there in the description bar and they also have other bottles on their site that you can also use. You can really use any size or shape bottle you want for this project. You will also need 20 gauge wire and I'm using antique brass for this bottle and I also use these other colors that I also got from BB Craft, the silver and the gunmetal. These are permanently colored, all three of these. And again, I will leave a link for this wire down in the description bar. It's also from BB Craft. And I am using filigree bead caps. And I found these to be perfect for my little bottles. So I'll show you close up. Do you see how the bead cap is sitting on top of the cork? How it's like hugging it and it's going over the sides? This one here you could probably see better because it's a brighter color. See that? They just fit perfectly on these cords. And I think there's like 500 in this box. It's been a while since I've ordered this, but I will also put a link to the bead caps down there in the description bar. And I am using these four here. I'm not using this color. This is antique silver. I'm using the bright silver. But again, I will also put a link for that. And we are also using 4 millimeter round beads, and I used lamp work beads in those, but for this project I'm using glass pearls. These have nice size holes to go onto our wire. And you will also need either a chain for your back of your necklace, or you could do a cord. I'm going to be doing a leather cord. For the tools, you will need wire cutters, round nose pliers, a pair of chain nose pliers, nylon jaw pliers, and a beetle or some kind of a pointy tool that you can poke your cork with. The first thing we're going to do is wrap the wire around the bottle and then after that I'll show you how to do the cork and then we'll make the bead link chain. So I opened my wire and I'm not cutting wire, I'm using it straight off the spool. This way we're not wasting wire and we're not going to run short on wire. So I took some wire out and I have my nylon jaw pliers here to straighten it out for me, which I already did to save time. And now I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a wire wrapped loop. So about right here, which I'm thinking is about four inches down the wire, I'm just going to make a wire wrapped loop. Okay, just like this. It looks like a good size. I can close it down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap my wire around three times. There's one, two wraps, and three wraps. Okay, now I want my loop to be facing up like this, so I'll show you on this bottle here. So see my loop here is facing up, so when I go to put my chain on it, it hangs like this. Okay, so then the wires are going like this, and then the loop is facing up. So now what I'm going to do, this wire here is straight, so I actually need this wire to be bent, so I'm going to just do some adjusting here like that. Okay, now I'm going to put my bottle in here. Now don't worry which side your sticker is going to be on, that's not important right now. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Now this wire here is on the bottom, so I'm going to keep it on the bottom and wrap it all the way around, pulling it tight as I go. Now I'm on the other side. And then this wire here, I need to pull this one tight. And it's getting, mine is getting a little bent up, so I'll just take my nylon jaw and pull that tight. Now what I have to do is pull this wire here as tight as I can while holding this here with my other finger. And I need to bend this 
Let's see. Pulling this tight. Right here, I'll make my 90 degree bend. Okay, because I'm going to make my other loop here. So then I'm going to take and pull both wires tight like this, and I'm going to wrap this one around this wire three times. So let's see here. I'm going to hold this tight. I'll hold it like this. Okay. And then I'll do one wrap. Now after you do one wrap, you don't have to hold it tight anymore because you already have the first. And then you can readjust and do three wraps. Okay, I have two there, so let's go around one more time. And if you want to, you can come in with your chain nose. If you're using a wire that's maybe harder than what I'm using, you might have to come in and squeeze your wraps. Okay. So mine is a little bit out of shape, so I'm just going to bend it back. And there are my three wraps. So now I'm going to cut my wire. This one here. Okay. And then I gotta straighten this out some. So I'll bend that like that. I have to close mine down some. Okay, now I have to make another wire wrap loop. So I'm going to, let's see, which way do I go? I think I want to go on the bottom. So I'm going to bend it like this. Okay, then I'm going to take my round nose. And I'm going to wrap my wire around. making a loop I just want it to match the other side see the size there? I just want to get the size sides to look the same this one is a little bit bigger I just have to move it down my plier okay there they go they look the same now so I'm going to put the plier back in there hold on to my wire and I'm going to wrap this around here three times, just covering up the wire wraps that I already did. See that? Very simple. And so I'm on the bottom now. So I'm going to take this wire and wrap it around. And I usually do four wraps on one side, I think it was, and five on the other. So there's four on that side now. There's four on that side, and I still have more gaps to the gap, so I just really fill it is what I'm doing. So this side here is fuller, and then there we go. I'm on that side here. Let's see how many do I have. One, two, three, four, five, and this side has five, two, okay? So I want the wraps to be on this one because I just did this one. See how thick this one is and this one's thinner? I'm going to wrap over top of this one. So I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to wrap over this one three times covering what I already did. Okay. One more wrap right there. And then I'm going to come in and cut my wire. Okay, and then you can turn this here. You can straighten this out. Mine's gotten a little bent. You can come in and straighten your loops out if one's up higher than the other. Okay, 
and there we go so now we're ready to do the cork it's very simple to do it's so easy and it's quick and I think it's a really great gift for somebody now we're gonna work on a cork and I did want to tell you guys and I forgot uh, don't throw these little pieces of wire away we're gonna use these to make our beaded link so hold on to those and I have my cork here and here's my beetle and I'm gonna use this to poke a hole in the center and I like to sit on a flat surface here and I just put my all straight and I find the center of the cork and I just poke a hole. Now you do have to go from both sides so I just did the bottom there and I have to pull it out and then I flip it over and I do the top find the center in the top of the cork push it down let's see okay come out the bottom now and then I'm gonna put my wire through the hole and I'm going to put it through the top of the cork and come out the bottom. You'll have to twist it on. And sometimes I even have to use my chain nose pliers to pass it through. And there we go. Okay, so go ahead and pull this through like that. Now I'm going to make a bend my wire about let's see I'll do here okay 90 degree angle actually I went a little past like that and then I'm gonna hold the wire right here at the very end of my pliers hold it in the corner and then bend the wire over like this okay we're going to make a spiral so see I have this now so I'm gonna squish that And then I'm going to grab onto this and I'm going to spiral my wire. Now I've done spiral head pins like this before. This is a great little technique. It's very handy. I've used this for so many things. So you just got to hold on to this. It's hard to hold on to it first, but when you get going, it's not bad. It's just the first couple wraparounds that are tricky. So doing this is going to prevent our wire from passing through the cork. You'll have to readjust and hold it from different angles. Okay, now I'm going to stop, I have to straighten this back out, because I have to make sure that this is the same size as the bottom of my cork. So I'll slide this up, I'm going to make this as sure this is straight first, I'll slide my cork up, and let's see, almost, and when you spin the cork, you're going to see that it's sticking out, so it's going to fit it really good in one spot. So I have to bend mine just a little bit more. It's like right here, almost got it. You can slide your cork back down if you need to. Okay, now I'm going to cut my wire. And you always want to cut this side here like this so that you have a flat cut and it's not sharp. Okay, then I'll slide this up and spin the cork where I need it to be so that it's covering the bottom of the wire just like that okay and then I'm gonna cut my wire let's see I'll cut it about here to be safe and any extra I have I can use for my beaded chain okay I'm gonna come in here and straighten this out and then I'm going to put my bead cap on. And when I first started using these caps, I was thinking that I could take my chinos and 
close it down on the sides so that it's like really hugging and wrapping around the cork. But then I, after I did it, I realized that it looks fine just like this. But if you want, you could squeeze the bead cap so that it's like hugging the cork more. But I left mine alone because I thought it would probably really warp it. Okay, so there's my four millimeter bead now. I'm going to slide this down. Actually, I like to slide the bead cap down as far as I can. And then the bead. And then I come in with my chain nose pliers. Hold it like this. I make my bend. And now I'm going to do a wire wrap loop. Okay, so I have this now. Now I'm going to wrap it around three times. There's two, three. So come in here in my chain nose. Okay, and then I'm going to cut my wire. Let's see, i got to be careful I don't scratch my pearl. Alright, there we go. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to do my little bead links. So see I have this scrap wire left and this is enough to do a couple bead links on. So I have to get my beads. And I only need four in my links so I'm going to go ahead and make a wire loop and I'm not doing wrap loops on this. It's not really necessary. Okay, the wire is so bent right now. There we go. I'm going to put a bead on. So I have one loop there, and I'm going to bend my wire this direction so that my cut wire is on this side, because I already have the cut on this side. I just like to make my loops like this. Go ahead and bend this over. Okay, so there's one. Now I have to do this three more times. I need four of these. Sorry how loud that is. I have a glass tabletop, so it's loud. And I put my pliers down. Put the bead on. Again, my cut is on this side now, so I'm going to bend it like that, so now the cut's on this side. Okay, so I have to do this two more times, and I think I'm going to fast forward this to make it quick. I have to get new wire now. Those aren't long enough. But I can make jump rings with these. So I'll put those to the side, and I'll, I'll try that. Now I'm going to connect my links together onto my cork and then I'm going to put this onto that there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a link just by twisting open, put another link on. 
and then close this one and I love using bent nose for this okay open another link Okay, and there we go. And you can spin this any way you want. So let's say I want the sticker to be on this side. I do like that um, this side here has a gap because I couldn't go back through there again. So it, you can put it on any side you want. It doesn't matter. It does spin. And I was thinking about gluing my cork in. But I don't know. I think that will be up to the person that I give it to. Because they might want to take the stones out and put something else in there. But here is what it looks like. It's really cute. I have some wire left over here. And two of them are close in size. So I'm going to use these two. And I'm going to try and make jump rings. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these so they're flush cut. And this is just me being silly, not wasting materials, so you don't have to do this. You might think I'm crazy and you want to do jump rings you already have on hand, but just saving on materials, I'm going to use these to make jump rings. So now I'm going to take one wire, and I don't have my mandrel making pliers out, but I'm going to start about in the middle here and see how big I can go. Let's see. Looks like I can go further down, so I'll slide down some. Okay. And then I'll bend this wire in. This is what I have so far. Okay. Now I'm going to use my pliers. Oops. Close this up, and I'm going to make this an oval jump ring because it's more secure. So let's see here. I'm going to grab it here like this and bend it in some. Okay, so there's my jump ring, and now I'm going to take my crimping pliers. I've shown you guys this in a recent video. I make my jump rings. And where the opening of the jump ring is, I'm going to have it like this. Okay. My pliers. So the opening is touching the inside of my jaw. And then I'm going to squeeze this and make an oval jump ring. So there's one. And now I have to do that again. After you make your jump rings, you can go ahead and attach a chain to your bottle. But I've decided for this bottle, I want to do a cord. This really saves on my chain. Sometimes I need chains for other projects. And this one here can just use a cord. So I'm going to go with a cord. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the wire-wrapped cord ends. I was just talking on the phone to my cousin Nancy. And she asked me, how do I finish leather? And I told her, well, there's two different ways you could do it. You can do wire wrap ends, which is what I really love to do, or you can just buy the um, fold over cord ends that you put your leather in and you fold, you put your leather in like this and you fold the sides over like that onto each other and there's a loop at the end. So this way here, you're saving money because you're doing wire, but um, not that the other ones cost a lot, but this is just another way to end your cord. And I've also used this technique on feathers. So this can be used several different ways. So to do this wire wrap cord end, I'm going to cut four inches of wire. So I'm going to go ahead and measure. There's my four inches. Okay. And then I'm going to take and right about here, about half inch down my wire, I'm going to make my 90 degree bend like that, which I went a little past, so like that, okay. And then I'm going to wrap my wire over like this, okay. 
like we're doing a wire wrap loop, but we're not going to fully do the wire wrap until we get the cord on here. So I have this now, okay. So then I'm going to get my chain nose pliers and I'm going to hold right here the loop and I'm going to start bending this over, okay. Now I'm not going to wrap this all the way around, I'm just going to make a little opening here to slide our leather cord in. Okay, so it's just like this. So here is the cord that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to put this in here like this. Okay, and I see that I can go down smaller so I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to close this wire and I do use my fingers get my chain nose pull this so that I'm right there wrapped around that okay so then I'm gonna take my chain nose pliers hold on to this loop and I'm going to wrap my wire around the leather and this little wire here sticking out. Now as you wrap it gets tighter. The first one does. See that there? Okay. So I just keep wrapping. And I like to do this about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit longer, my wraps. Okay. Okay, so I'm about here. I'm going to stop and cut this wire off. And then I'm going to continue wrapping. Now, this is not my wire wrap wire. This is. Okay, this is the one that I had bent. So I'm just going to very carefully come in here, trim that off. And then I'm going to hold on to this again and continue wrapping. And if you want, you can wrap till you run out of wire, which is what I usually do, because it's very secure. Okay, just like that. And you can come in here and trim this, or you can take your chain nose and fold this down. Now, I always do this part here. After I either trim it or wrap it all the way around, I always come in with my chain nose and I squeeze the very last wrap down like that so it doesn't poke anybody. So there we go. That is a wire wrapped cord end. Pretty simple to do. So now I'm going to do this to the other end and then I can connect this to my necklace. So go ahead and do this. I finished both of my ends and now I'm going to connect it to my bottle. And here are my jump rings. I'm going to go ahead and open them up just by twisting them open like this. And let's see, I'm going to let, I did it on this one, because of how the bottle hangs like this, I have the beaded link there on the bottom, okay? So, I'm going to let this stay here on the bottom and I'm going to connect this to the top. Because of how it naturally falls, you want to hang it like this. And then I'll put my cord on here. And I will close this shut. Now, if you want this to be more secure, you can have two jump rings on each side. I've done stuff like that several times. Okay. Now I'm straightening out my cord to make sure it's not twisted. And now I'm going to connect it onto this side here. And there we go. It's finished. So cute. This one is a little bit looser here. I was much tighter on the other ones. The other ones don't really spin that much. 
it's much easier to do this though when you don't have a camera in your face but that's what it looks like so cute I really love them all right we're all done and I am thinking that I will glue some of them so that the stones don't fall out I would hate for that to happen I'm probably going to glue the amethyst one and um if you do decide on gluing your cork in so you don't lose your stones use E6000 glue I've used that before and it was the best it works great so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry you've made from my videos on my Facebook and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching!